Hello guys. I was doing a whole bunch of stuff. I didn't realize I wasn't recording. So I came back to where I was. Where the bear was defeated. And I broke down the wall. Now we're going through the wall. Sorry about that. Didn't miss anything, I promise. I fell down here and went bloop. Up there was a document. <coughs> and we came through here. We come in here and she goes, ooh, that's gonna be cold. There's a chest over there, we'll just stop. Right now, I'm starting to dive. And we got to here. There's a camp. Use the camp to save. Can't believe I wasn't recording this whole time. Well, okay. I'm a D to D. And we jump over here. Optional two nearby. We can hear stuff. It's a black galleon. How did it get way down here? Which we come in here and then <laughs> it's Mongolian. They passed through here. I must be close to the lost city. So this episode is gonna be this one. <laughs> and this is where I realized I wasn't recording. Right here. Something up there. Okay. Gently into the night. Easy, easy. Whoa. I don't know if I can make that. Maria Dula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones. And I am drowsy. Just a little sleep. Yeah, he fell asleep. <clears throat> I didn't get back up. 
Should be able to climb those oars. somewhere around here to move it. Frustrating. I know it is. to find out what's up there. Were they carrying so much wealth with them? Ooh, 
Come here. Story. It's done. We'll die here. Thanks to Coraldus and the madness of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Coraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here, with us. I've always kept a little poison at the ready in case the ship was taken. Now, it has another use. Mm. the archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. Brooch. The enamel work is beautiful. This portrait has been defaced. It looks like it was depicting the prophet. They must have had to hide their faith. Passed through the lands of the Rus. I cannot shake the feeling that he's taunting me, waiting until I'm a day's ride away before moving on. I will not be home before the winter as I hoped. I've stopped at a small village by a glassy lake they called Svetloyar. The prophet spoke <clears throat> here, and now the villagers refuse me lodging. I slept on the banks of the lake, where a young man bearing a crude version prophet's icon tried to kill me as I dozed. I made an example of him, and now the people fix me with the evil eye, spit at me as I pass. I must move on soon. His sickness spreads. Mm -hmm. Oh, said night.
Soviet installation. And it can't work. Yay! I'm not your enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. What's going on down there? to have been here for a very long time, living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. I notice elements of her dress, small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Could they possibly be descendants of the Prophet's people? Hmm. How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true. shiny. Oh, All right, now how I get back up. Just go. First day in Siberia, and it happens. Two years in Afghanistan, and another in Indonesia, nothing. But one day out here on the ice, and pop, I get a kill. I watch the man's eyes go glassy as he begged me for something. I'm not Russian, I'm no clue. 
I waited with him and watched. One minute he was there, and next, nothing. Just meat. I got sick on the snow, all mixed in with the kid's blood, but he's just meat now, and I'm alive. Constantine keeps telling us we're out here for a special reason, tells us we're doing God's work. I'm starting to see that now. Constantine is on his way down from the prison. We need to get this mess in order before he arrives. Hey, can anyone hear me? God damn it, we gotta get comms back up. Never seen anything like that. Crazy son of a bitch. Rushing three armed men with an axe? I don't know how they managed to take one of them alive. Who the hell are these people? Initial recon said there was an old village up on these mountains. But they expected farmers. Thought they'd surrender without firing a shot. Farmers? Shit. These are trained guerrilla fighters. It looks like they drove the Soviets out of here. Hold up. Gonna check it. Understood. Hold up. Hold this up. There's more of them arriving. Traps around the river. 
I can rig up a few surprises with this stuff. See anything out by the fences? No. But we didn't see the first ambush until they were already inside. They knew the layout of this place. Oh, shit. This was supposed to be a routine mob. The path is never easy. The Trinity expects us to walk it all the same. I know I've taken some jobs of questionable legality, and I know you're not happy about it. But I couldn't pass up this contract. Been trying to get work with Trinity for years. They're discreet, the pay is obscene, and they always have opportunities. Now here I am, and I already want out. We're at an abandoned Soviet <clears throat> installation in the middle of nowhere. No one's telling us low-level contractors what's going on, but... I think I might be helping some seriously scary people get a nuke or something equally awful. Honestly, that's the best case scenario. Ping me back if you get this. I've carved out a secure channel on the network. For an operation like this, you'd think they'd have better security, but I guess that's why they hired me. Mm. Hmm. 
An old Soviet plaque. Lenin lived. Lenin lives. Lenin will live forever. The Red Army is coming. I've been tracking them for weeks, watching as hundreds of men build the iron monstrosity across the ice. Men have died, their frozen bodies left scattered in the tundra. No rites of passing, no burial or burnings. These new invaders are cruel, godless men. Do they come seeking the precious metals of the mountain? Or like so many before them, are they drawn here by the divine source? My people must again prepare for war. They'll all die slow while we watch. You have one fucking chance right now. Tell us everything. Where are the rest of your people? You may have not. for watching you guys don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and you guys have a great day bye